is just more than like Mike say, putting things into teams and kind of presenting them on a deck. We essentially, this team, this company is hiring you for more, right? The human intelligence inside of yourself to bring something new to the table. And then we hear prioritization, which is one of the hardest things to do because that comes with being able to partner with people on your team and they have different goals, different KPIs and yourself. So this becomes um, a very bureaucratic thing in, in, in a positive way, right? Being able to deal with, with, with different people, different deadlines and so forth. So that being said, how do you audit those skills? If, when, if we just talk about those two or expand, as a researcher, there, is, there comes a point in time where you're like, okay, I work in, in, in this kind of, in this industry, and we do this a lot. We do service a lot. So I've gotten really good at that. But we're starting to see other problems, and I need to kind of expand my skill. How do you audit your skills, right? How do you go, what do I know? How much of it do I know? How good am I at it? And how do I move forward with learning new things? Let's go with Mike first, this one. So, I mean, if we're talking about auditing the skills versus kind of uh, how we'd evaluate during an interview, uh, a lot of that comes down to, th there are different things like uh, the research ops community has some skill matrices that you can look at as a researcher and kind of weigh yourself against. Most a step, like I'm sure Anther Lab has this, uh, we have this even as a, a new research skill. Um, we've got a different set of skill trees and what's expected for each level um, for the different kind of uh, types of skills. Um, so that that's a great way to kind of um, have that and there's the self-assessment, but it's also equally important to get other people to give you an assessment as well. Um, because I mean, as researchers, we generally know about different cognitive biases. One of them is that people either tend to overrate or underrate themselves depending upon their level of self-confidence, self-esteem. Um, so that's why it's important to um, get that um, perspective. The other kind of gotcha with kind of any type of an audit is if you've never kind of seen what great looks like within the industry, if you haven't been going out to a bunch of conferences, if you haven't worked at um, an organization with really strong researchers, then you might not be aware of kind of how your work might not necessarily be on par with what best in class is within the industry. And that, that one's honestly the hardest one to solve is making people aware of that best in class outside of sending them to different conferences um, or putting them in touch with people within those um, companies that you know are doing it super well. Yeah, I agree with that. 